What's up everybody and welcome back to Ducks and Download. In this TVC review, we're going to be going over this awesome trio of figures from this recent wave to hit Walmarts and Targets. We of course have the Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett himself in his awesome Tusken Raider garb. We then have Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett and from Return of the Jedi, Nia Nub, one of the all-time awesome aliens, a Solastin hero. Alright, let's start things off with this awesome 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi figure, and what a figure we finally get to put next to our Lando Calrissians. We get Nian Noob, the Solastin, an absolutely iconic alien, and one of the first of his race we get to see in any of the other Star Wars films. An absolute legend when it comes to the fall of the Empire, and the destroying of the second Death Star. Of course, we have the nice thicker card stock that helps with everything. Not too damaged for being on shelf in Walmart, you know, but you gotta be quick. If you see these things on shelf, you wanna be as quick as possible, not only because others might pick them up, but due to the fact it might get damaged. As you can see, we have the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary badge up up top, leading into the awesome red, black, and silver that seems to kind of really always go with the top borders here. The Nia Noob name and behind the figure here has this lovely blue pill. And an awesome card back. I'm really loving this card back. This really good close-up shot of Nia Noob. I believe that is from within the uh, Millennium Falcon from the looks of the background there. Comes with a small blaster and a very long-range blaster there. We can see he has the holster here on the side. An all-around really awesome figure. Really good face sculpt there. The jowls are a really great touch and really, of course, one of the major things that make a Solastin kind of stand out. The large ears, we have the leather cap up on top, the flight cap, the jacket, and the flight suit. What an absolute favorite figure to get for an alien race. The Kenner logo here really matches with the blue behind the pill on the name and the figure. I love when they make those kind of touches. And the red really helps pop from his shirt to the Return of the Jedi sigil up here. That red is just really awesome for helping all of this come together. Next up, we're going to be looking at Cad Bane. Of course, this is going to be the live action interpretation of Cad Bane. So the hat is much smaller and the waistcoat and all those things have a bit more of a proportion to them. We do still have his amazing blasters. The two blasters he uses in almost everything. There's the figure here. We have the ammo bell, the nice jacket, wrist gauntlets, tubes for the face and then the hat, and there he is there. When choosing a Cad Bane, I honestly had to really look around because a lot of them were oddly positioned in here. Maybe it's due to the hat, or maybe it's due to the tubes, but a lot of them were looking heavily to the left or right, and I like, if I can, to get a figure that looks a bit more dead on. Better display piece. Now to really tie in with the Book of Boba Fett, the title we get here, big red font, we have the red pill and the red behind the figure here for Cad Bane. Kind of the exact opposite we just saw with Nian Nub. Now that would match because Nian was red, whereas Cad is blue, so they changed up the color palette there. The Kenner logo then matches Cad himself actually really well there, but the red from his eyes and this awesome Tatooinean blank background really helps all that red show up. And I think again, this is an awesome picture to have from the Book of Boba Fett for Cad Bane. It's a great action shot. This is right before the final big like draw battle with Boba Fett and a really stellar figure to be able to pick up. And the last one that I was able to pick up is of course Boba Fett himself in his Tusken Raider gear. This is an awesome, awesome figure. And I love the regality that almost Boba Fett just exudes in this card back. The picture alone here, that beautiful stance where he's just staring off into his next idea or mission. I, I know this is from a direct scene from Book of Boba Fett. I cannot place it immediately off the top of my head. Bleak, you know, tatooine and sky, and that awesome, awesome cloak and belt. Now, of course, one of the things I hate about heavily cloaked figures when we do get them in the package like this is they almost never leave it open. They purposely, I'm sure, package it like this because it's just easier, expecting the majority of people to, of course, open this, as I'm not an opener. Like with my Han Solo from Indoor figure, I'm going to be staring at a Boba Fett wearing a cloak the whole time, not really able to see the underneath stuff. Now, from what I've seen from the other reviews of those guys, it looks absolutely stellar under there, and this is a must-have figure for Boba Fett collectors. It's a really awesome story, and the Sand People part of the Book of Boba Fett is my all-time favorite arc. Felt a lot more like what we kind of get from Andor, and those were awesome. I love the Book of Boba Fett, but we could have done with some more Tusken stuff, in my opinion, of course. 
We have the gaffy stick back on this shoulder and the long cylinder rifle on that shoulder. So not only does he also have his small blaster here, but he's got a slug thrower and his gaffy stick still. The gaffy stick scene, wow, what a great scene. We have a yellow pill and a yellow background for this harsh blackness that is the figure of the rest of this Boba Fett. It really helps to pop all of the things behind him and give him much more of a silhouette. Thankfully with the gaffy stick and the cylinder rifle also being a dark brown and the pistol being black and brown, it also still comes through popping. Really shows up well, even under maybe some more, I should say, like direct crazy light, like the ring you can see here. It doesn't kill the fact that you can still see the additives behind it. So. I'm happy that they released it like this. One more prop and this could have easily become a deluxe figure. So getting this at the $16 price point is killer because I know things are getting crazy in these price points lately. So again, guys, we had an awesome time here just doing a quick review of VC-106, the re-release here for Return of the Jedi Nia Nub. We have the awesome Book of Boba Fett Cad Bane, which is VC-283. And we have the Book of Boba Fett Boba Fett, that's right, in VC-285. So out of all of these guys, I gotta say, I love the return of the Jedi figures, but this Boba Fett is killer. You know, those of us who collect Boba Fetts, you gotta have this one. Great scenes. Yeah, hefty. When you pick up the other figures, you kind of notice that this Boba Fett with those soft good cloaks and all the accessories behind him, that's actually a pretty hefty figure and makes that $16 price point a bit more bearable. Well, guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. Have an amazing rest of your day. And as always... May the force serve you well.